Good morning, everybody. This is Sangeeta Saxena, editor, Aviation and Defense Universe, getting you live from Fandra International Air Show. Friends, this is day three, and we are here at the Boeing and meeting someone I really always love to meet. That's Turbo Shobran, the Vice President, General Manager, Government Services, Boeing Global Services. Welcome, Turbo. Such a pleasure to have you at our chat room. Sangeeta, thank you so much for honoring us with your presence here. And uh, Turbo, this is day three. We've seen, you know, your Boeing aircraft roaring in the skies. How has the show been? Well, thanks for the question. This has been after Riyadh, and for us, for some of us, this is almost day six because we did the Royal International Air Tattoo and now at Fondra. And it was so great to see how many of our media friends were at both. Um, this has been as we had a very active show for us, particularly on the defense side. The F-15, the Qatari F-15, has been front and center. In fact, uh, at the air show uh, at the Royal International Air Tattoo, it won the award for the best flying display. We've had extensive discussions with our customers in both shows, uh, very much interested in the readiness of our platforms, which is obviously, for those of us in Boeing Global Services, and particularly in government services, is our mission. And, uh, you know, global services is a very major thing. And at all shows, when we are here, we see a lot of talk. We heard a lot of talk. We see a lot of things, activity going on. What has happened on the services end here? Well, so uh, our services business remains the rock of the readiness for our customers, both commercial as well as government. Um, our new president is here. Uh, this is his first Farnborough and Riyadh in his capacity. Uh, Chris Raymond now leads our uh, global services business. Uh, he has had the opportunity to engage significantly with both our commercial as well as government customers. That's one big difference. Number two, I will tell you this has been a very active show for those of us on the readiness side of the house. Um, I would say today, more than in quite some time, the focus on services and particularly the service the focus on readiness has been front and center um, and i'm very proud of our team our team has stepped up and uh, what is the sort of business uh, which you have you envisaged for the show and are you getting it yeah i would say um, mission readiness very much around the area of our performance-based logistics we are in extensive discussions today in India, for example, on our ASAs, whether it's on PA, Apache, and Chinook, you know, those models, uh, like on C-17, which India obviously enjoys the benefits of, those holistic offerings, whereby we drive readiness over a period of time, we are able to manage the cost, we're able to manage the readiness, we're able to manage, frankly, the vagaries sometimes of the supply chain. That's been a very big focus for us. In addition, training, uh, the importance of making sure those men and women that both operate the products, but also maintain our products, that has been a very significant second focus. And then MRO and modifications, making sure that when aircraft come in, that we can get them done properly, safely, with quality in and out. And as you know, in India, uh, our partnership with uh, a number of the MROs uh, has been a big part of our focus there. In the US, we've just announced, just a little earlier this year, a big MRO that we set up ourselves down in Jacksonville. So whether we do it, or whether we do it with our partners, that I would say is another big focus for us at this show. And uh, when you spoke of MRO uh, Turbo, in India also, we have a very major uh, private industry, which is the MRO industry. How much of involvement that uh, the private industry has with Boeing? Companies like Airworks, AIESL, we are so blessed to have those partners. Their depth of experience and frankly the partnership that we've got with them I think has been a pretty, pretty compelling differentiator for us in the recent past and frankly we expect it going forward. We are committed to their success just as they're committed to ours. And uh, when we talk of services, uh, is that a continuous supply chain uh, enhancement or you already have a very heavy existing supply chain and there's no improvement onto that? Look, our supply chain out of India is significant. 1.25 billion on an annual basis. Those 300 plus suppliers, companies like uh, Russell Texas, uh, you know, Tata. I mean, we've just, we're blessed 
to have those partners, and I think, frankly we think of them as more than suppliers, the importance of the depth and the resilience of the supply chain is critical and that has been a big focus for us already and continues to be a focus for us in country. We have a team that is constantly looking at what other suppliers can be part of our supply chain to ensure that resilience as we go forward. And for Mission Readiness Turbo, is everything available every time? Have the wars which are happening in the world uh, created a problem in the supply chain management? They absolutely have. They've created a demand and this is an area that we've been investing heavily in. Uh, we call it next generation product support. And over the years we've talked about a number of our investments, whether it was mission accelerator, autonomous aircraft inspection, uh, model-based sustainment systems, um, augmented training. A number of investments we have made to drive readiness are focused on driving that readiness, but at the end of the day, if our supply chain is not robust, if we're unable to get the parts either repaired or if we're unable to get the parts um, produced, that's an issue. And that's where we've been looking, not only to industry outside uh, of, um, of our traditional concerns, but in countries like India where we found great success. And, uh, you know, in India, uh, since we are talking of India, in India, you have a big uh, setup. And in addition to uh, services, what else is there in India which we would like our uh, audiences to know about? Well, I would say obviously our, our, plat uh, our footprint. Uh, if you look at the 65 platforms that we've got serving the government from C-17s, the largest C-17 fleet outside of the United States, um, our vertical lift, our Apaches, our Chinooks, our fixed wing aircraft, the C-17, uh, the P-8s, our footprint, uh, our VVIP aircraft, our head of state aircraft, those platforms provide a significant platform in addition to the services that we do. And that's on the government side. And then as you can imagine, the nature of the Boeing company, obviously what we do on the commercial side has also been a very, very big focus for us. So under the guidance of obviously Salil, uh, in country and then under in the government services area and in Nicole Joshi, we continue to see not only some opportunities to drive readiness, but also to drive growth with our Indian partners. And uh, you know, Boeing also is doing much more than uh, actual operations. There's a lot of human interest activity Boeing is doing. Would you like to speak about it? Thank you for that question. As <laughs> some know, uh, one of the things that makes me the most proud of the Boeing company isn't just the careers we offer our employees, isn't just the products and the services we provide. We aspire to deliver first time on quality, to do so on cost, schedule and technical milestones. We aspire to do that every day. But I'll tell you one of the greatest attributes of the Boeing company isn't just what we do for our customers, but what we do for our communities. Uh, I have had the just tremendous honor and joy of being able to visit some of those uh, communities in Bangalore, Shishumandar. Um, it's just one, one of the many that we're involved in. And the contribution, not just that the Boeing Company provides in terms of funding, but when our employees invest their time, their own personal time, in mentoring young girls and young boys, particularly young girls at Shishumanda in Bangalore. I will tell you, every time I'm in Bangalore, I have always visited the school. It is to me one of the finest examples of the Boeing Company. The Boeing Company isn't just invested in aerospace excellence for our customers. We're invested in our communities, and that is one of the finest examples of Boeing's commitment. Wonderful. That was such a good note to close on Turbo. Thank you very much for being on to ADU's chat room. All as always wonderful to have spoken with you. Thank you.